Hi, I'm Chaplain Byron Denman, and this is Chats with the Chaplain. I'm at home right now during what would be considered lunch. And as often as I possibly can, I try to make this trip happen. I try to spend the 15 minutes in the car to get home and then the 15 minutes in the car to get back to work just so that I can have lunch around my family. And sometimes those lunches are wonderful and I feel like it was perfect and refreshing. And sometimes stuff comes up with the family while I'm at home. Sometimes I'll try to record one of these and I'll have to start over because someone has walked through a screen or somebody made a noise or shook the table where I've got the iPad set up and so it, it messed with the film. All of those things are worth it to me though, even if things don't go smoothly, because I want to be around my family. And as someone who's been in the army for 17 years, I can tell you, it's important to maintain your family connections. Your career is gonna go and you'll be all right, even if you don't work through lunch. I can tell you that from experience as well, because for the first 10 years or so, I very rarely went home to have lunch with my wife or my kids. Instead, I brought my lunch in and I sat down at my desk and I tried to work as much as I could, or I tried to rush out and rush back just so that I could do as much work as I possibly could all the time, every day. And then I realized that I was taking a toll on my family for the sake of my career. And that's not okay. Some of you might be watching this and thinking, yeah, but I'm single, so I can handle it. Eh, maybe. But it's still not good for you to skip lunch or to work from your desk as you eat. There was a study done by a company in Australia where the boss said, Every employee got to choose their own day off during the week. So instead of a five-day work week, they're bumping down to four. The only stipulation was, no matter which day you chose, you had to maintain the same productivity of a five-day work week. Okay, that means you have to work harder, right? And if you consider a whole work week 100% successful, all you have to do is 100% in four days. What they found was with those four day work weeks, they were able to be 120% successful at completing tasks. They were actually more productive when they got that extra day off. It's the same way when you take a lunch break. When you give yourself that little bit of time right in the middle of the day to separate from your work environment, you will be more productive and you'll be in a better spirit. You'll have a better mood. And you know what? Other people want that too. Nobody wants you to be grumpy. Except for maybe you if you're like an Eeyore. But either way, I want you guys to, to take advantage of the opportunities you have to step out of the office for your lunches. Go sit down with a friend. Go see your wife or your husband. Don't let the army keep you doing work right now that you could equally do after lunch is over. I know that some priorities exist. I'm not telling you to shirk your responsibilities, but just figure out which ones they are. I'm Chaplain Byron Denman, and I wanna eat lunch with my family as often as I can because there will be times when I can't.